I didn't know he is blind. Hi guys, hope you all are doing great. Your boy Al is here with episode 7 review of Demon Slayer season 4 so let's go. At first we see a bird flying with a letter. The scene then shifts to Tanjiro successfully moving the huge boulder as part of his training under the stone Hashira, eliciting interesting reactions from his friends. Inosuke also manages to move his boulder, while Zenitsu is horrified, exclaiming, Inosuke moved his boulder too. This sucks. That leaves only me. This totally sucks. At that moment, his messenger Sparrow Chentaro arrives with a note that changes something in him. It looks like something really terrible happened to someone related to Zenitsu. I'm guessing maybe some demon killed the old man who trained Zenitsu or something like that. Also, the comedy scenes were good as usual. We see that after completing his mission, Tanjiro prepares to say goodbye, feeling he will die of dehydration, but the stone Hashira comes to his rescue. Haimajima acknowledges Tanjiro for prioritizing human lives over his demon sister at the swordsmith village. Tanjiro quickly corrects him, saying it was Nazuko's decision, not his, and that he doesn't deserve Haimajima's acknowledgement. This honesty prompts Haimajima to genuinely acknowledge Tanjiro for speaking the truth. Haimajima then shares his story, revealing that he is blind and used to be a teacher, raising children at an orphanage. One fateful day, a child sacrificed Haimajima and the others by leading a demon to the orphanage and extinguishing the wisteria incense that protected them from demons. I can understand a kid getting scared and selling out others to a demon, but the kid extinguishing the incense after reaching its safety just doesn't make sense at all. Also Haimajima's character makes a lot more sense now. Moving on we see the demon killed a few children first, and while Haimajima urged the others to stay behind him, they did not trust their blind teacher and tried to escape but were quickly killed. Only a little girl, Seo, followed his instructions, prompting Haimajima to tackle the demon. His sole motive was to protect Seo. During the fight, he discovered his extraordinary strength as he kept punching the demon until sunrise when its corpse vaporized. Due to the trauma, Seo mistook Haimajima for the killer, and he was imprisoned until Kagaya took him in. The story of Haimajima doing everything to protect Seo, and getting mistaken as the killer instead, was supposed to be very sad and heart-wrenching, but for some reason it didn't touch me at all. Also I would have liked it if they showed how Kagaya found out about Haimajima. Then we see Haimajima says to Tenjiro, but you never ran off. You never turned your gaze away. You never lied. You were pure and single-minded. You are a special child. As someone who has observed scores of people with the eyes of my soul, I cannot be wrong. After dinner, Tanjiro visits Zenitsu to give him his share of fish but finds him different than usual. He leaves Zenitsu reluctantly, and we briefly see Zenitsu being serious as he comments, this is one thing I have to do, no matter what, while clutching the letter he received in his hand. To me it looked like Haimajima was acknowledging Tanjiro as their leader or something, which is really weird, because Tanjiro is nowhere near that level yet. Also I think whatever happened with Zenitsu might end up changing him. At the end we see Tanjiro arrive at Tomioka's residence and find him sparring with Shinazugawa. Shinazugawa leaves, irritated by Tanjiro's presence. Tomioka explains that their sparring was part of their Hashira training. On his way back Shinazugawa encounters a demon eye and crushes it, realizing they've been infiltrated as Muzan approaches the Abuyashiki mansion. So Muzan finally made his move, and found out Kagaya's location, but I'm curious to know why Muzan is after Kagaya, because Kagaya is pretty much useless right now. Also I will never understand how it takes so long for Hashiras to realize that they are being watched. All in all, this was another episode with poor pacing, and apparently there's only one more episode left of this season, so I don't know how the season will end. Anyways thanks for watching everyone. If you like my video then check out some of my other videos. Also don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel or leave a comment if you want to say something, you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram or check out my Facebook page, links are given in the description until then see ya.